Now, normally I would do a sort of deck profile or something at this point in the week, but uh, today I thought I'd do something a bit different. Uh, I watch a lot of people play games, you know, cards, video games, at, you know, tournament level, that kind of thing, and I make a lot of observations. So I thought I'd make a, a little sort of, you know, common downfalls that people make and how to avoid doing them. Now, I'm no pariah for these things. You know, I, I make mistakes too, we all do it, but I, you know, as someone who sees this kind of thing a lot, I figure, you know, I could show people the sorts of things I see and what not to do, really. Um, the first thing I wanted to point out is um, not everybody does these things. You know, you, you can't paint everyone with the same brush. You know, you go to a Yu Gi Oh tournament, you hear about your arseholes, but not everyone's like that. It's actually quite a small percentage. It's just the loud mouth that you hear about. You know, the same, I mean, this, this video is more sort of aligned towards card players, but it, it, it applies to most people. You go to a Street Fighter tournament. I mean, I've, I've had some lovely times at Street Fighter tournaments. You know, but you're going to get one in a million who's just not very nice to be around. But the first thing to remember when you're playing any of these games is just simple manners. You know, people just, you know, you, you get overexcited when you make some massive combo, or, you know, you, you completely trash your opponent. But, you know, just, just keep it to yourself a little bit. You've got to remember that if someone was doing it to you, you wouldn't like it, you know? You've you got to try and not insult the other player. You, don't, you probably don't even realise you're doing it most of the time, but people do do it. You know, you sit there at the end of it going, oh, you know, oh yeah, no, I totally trashed this guy, and the other guy's still in earshot. They're not going to be very happy about it. Um, make conversation with the other player. You know, you, you're sitting there playing a game together. That's what it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be two people playing something with each other. You know, and you obviously have something in common, otherwise you wouldn't both be there. So make conversation out of it. You know, you, you learn from each other, and you know, not everyone is there just to sort of butt heads all the time. The, although, you know, in relation to having good manners, there is such a thing as having too good manners. And I've been guilty of this in the past. When you go into a game and go, oh no, I, I don't know this very well, or oh no, I'm not very good, I, I, I kind of suck at this, and then you completely proceed to win quite heavily, then the other player sits and goes, well, if you think you're crap, then what the hell am I? So you just got to think, you know, perhaps staying quiet is sometimes the best option. Um, you, a lot of people who play these games love them, and they're welcome to. You know, I mean, I love playing these games. Everybody, everyone who plays them should feel some level of passion for them. But you can be overpassionate. And when you make it sound like winning is the be-all and end-all, and, you know, your world will end if you don't win this game, you put a lot of pressure on the other player to try to keep you happy, which you have no right to do. It's not your, it's not, say you were playing me, it's not my place to keep you happy. You know, we're supposed to be doing, like, having fun anyway. Um, it goes without saying, but when you go to these tournaments, you know, just keep personal hygiene in check. You know, whack, whack a bit of spice bomb on you. You know, go make sure you have a nice shower beforehand, dress up smart. Because if you look nice, you know, not to say that you have to look like, you know, top notch, 1%, all that crap, but if you make an effort, then people, you're a lot more approachable to people. You know, people are in, when, I know some people think of this as some sort of weird tactic, but, you know, being smelly is not an intimidation tactic, it just makes people think you smell. You know, it's, it's, it's just not cool. Um, you know, but and if if someone really is getting to you, because you know sometimes they do, sometimes will people will do everything I've just said. You know, you do have to be assertive. If you don't want to play with somebody, and this is in a casual environment, obviously in a tournament, if you have to play them, you just have to keep a bit of a stiff upper lip and just go, yeah, okay, this guy's an ass, but you know I'll, I'll deal with it. Um, if you don't want to play with somebody, don't. Just say sorry. You know, I've got better people to be around. See you later, and be done with it. The amount of times where people come up to me and say, like, oh, X person's not, you know, being a bit, a bit of an idiot, I really want to play with them, I'll say, well, don't then. And they go, oh, as if it's shocking, as if they're not allowed to not to say no, and uh, I find quite funny sometimes, I just think that people just need to learn to be a bit more assertive about these things. And, you know, continuing from that, you know, again, going back to the tournament scene, you, sometimes you just have to know when to give up. You can't argue with people who don't want to be argued with. If someone is absolutely adamant that their way is the only way, then you're just not going to get through to them. There's just no point trying. So, at that point, that's where you sit there and you just 
stay quiet to yourself and just go, well, at least I don't have to act like that. You know? And if, if you sink to their level by being assertive or by, like, pointing out their flaws, you, you shouldn't do that either because then you're sinking to their level. I think that it's very important to maintain, you know, a, a decent etiquette when playing these games because at the end of the day, if you're sitting there talking to these people who talk to you like crap, then you're not going to want to play the games anymore. You know, I've had that before and I know countless other people who have. So, really, you just kind of need to... Just be polite and be nice to people. What have you got to lose? You know, you're playing a game for God's sake. In this, you know, I I, I I say this, you know, this video as if it's directed at people and it's, you know, may come across somewhat aggressive. It's not directed at any one person in particular, but you know, people who are like that tend to know who they are. And if they, do, if you're not one of those people, you probably know somebody who is. So you know, do yourself a favour and try and. Either pick yourself up to a point where you don't have to be around that person anymore, or make an effort to try and make it make them see that perhaps what they're doing isn't the correct thing to do. And past that, you know, everyone should be enjoying themselves, and whether it's Yu-Gi-Oh, Vanguard, Magic, Street Fighter, League of Legends even, you know. I mean, you know, League of Legends is an online game, so it's slightly different. Yeah, you, you, you often find that if you have a much more pleasant time playing these games if you don't have to deal with crap that comes with people, you know? But, at the end of the day, we all like what we're doing, so keep doing it. But, yeah, so, uh, keep up to your etiquette, and I'll be doing more videos like this, because I think that it is important that perhaps people aren't aware of some of these things that go on. You know, uh, trading, I think, is a big deal, so I shall be touching on that at some point in the future. But um, yeah, like the video, subscribe, share it around your friends and everything, and hopefully I will see you all later.